going to start. Hi guys, Paul Acevedo, East X Twitch from Windows Central here. I'm joined on the mic by Brian and yep. Michael, Mr. Griffith. Also, Derek, Derek Huda. Hello, hello. Tonight we are playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare from Electronic Arts. And as a special treat, we are playing along with several people from the audience. And Mr. Griffith is playing with me. So the first thing we are going to do is hop into multiplayer. Also, keep in mind we have some awesome prizes, EA access codes for the people who are watching the stream live with us. Obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, you don't get to win. Join party game. They're going to start the first giveaway the on party? that in like two minutes. Oh my gosh. Dude, it killed the uh, party. I did not tell it to kill the party. And nobody said anything in chat. No, there it is. Okay. <laughs> no, I, see the party still I was going to say, I don't see anything. The matchmaking for this game is a little bit wonky. Oh yeah, here's what I have to do. I choose to create a game, and then all of you who are in the party choose to join party game. And it might just automatically pull you along anyway. We'll see. Um, do we lose light cycle? Come on, light cycle. Invite party to game. Invite to party. Let's get Light Cycle back in here. He is still playing, right? I hope so. There we go. Yeah, he's in the menus, so uh, I'm sure he's coming. Invite to party and game. It, there we go. Yeah, I don't remember seeing him say he wasn't. Good man. Okay, there's a possibility I might be on the other team. It does that. That's one of the funky things about the game, is it just distributes you randomly. This things like that are going to be fixed in the sequel. I understand. That's what I'm told. I'm going to be an all-star. Three cacti. We're going to start the first contest here in a minute. So everybody, get yeah. ready. I'm playing on the zombie side. This is the all-star. He's a heavy hitter. Or I, yeah, I guess. Um, you can only switch teams when it lets you. I don't know if you can do it all the time. Okay, I got killed pretty quickly, yes. Just getting warmed up here. Also, I haven't had a lot of sleep. Story of my life. So has everybody seen the uh, trailer for the upcoming sequel? Yes. I hope so. I actually played the sequel at E3. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, didn't they show that at E3? <laughs> Very sexy. Yeah, the sequel has some nice improvements. It's still not there as far as having a campaign, which is obviously one of the most requested features. So it's still going to be a multiplayer focused game, but it does have improved local multiplayer. Paul, I got your back oh, of thank healing. you. Or at least I should have if it let me put it on. There you go. Ah, that's nice. Feels good. And didn't they um, announce an offline mode for the sequel? Because I, I think that was a... I, that's what I was saying. Single feature. player is improved and split screen is improved. <laughs> Ooh, sniper. Good try. Yeah, they've got a lot of snipers. Like, we're just getting killed from a big distance, so I can't get up close to actually fight. But we'll see how that goes. There's Swizzler's Goddess. I'll try to follow Who's her. Flank? Zombies. Yep, that's our team. Brian's so good at running the contest. Thank you. Oh, What's yeah. Thing? What's that thing? Just barely. <laughs> Yo, Swiss. So how do zombies heal? This... I mean, do they, like, pass out brain <laughs> juice The scientist drops a healing thing, fountain of healing. Hey, I found Noam Chomsky. Gotcha. Noam Chomsky's ha, right Noam Chomsky. here. Awesome. Ah, dang it, I stepped on a potato mine. Wasn't watching out for that. <laughs> I'm not representing tonight. Okay, I just... What are we all drinking? I'm having Diet just... Monster, as you might have predicted. And I'm being revived. Thank you for the revive. Word. Coke awesome. Zero. What else would I be drinking other than <laughs> Cherry Coke Zero? I'm drinking a dollar Diet Coke from McDonald's. <laughs> I'm so hooked on those... Uh... 
dipped ice cream cones right now. Oh, dang it. I got eaten, but I did kill someone. Whoa, cluck my duck. Thank you. Oh, this is crazy. It's generous donor tonight night tonight for some reason. Thanks, guys. We go months and months without donation, and all of a sudden everybody remembers they can do it. Much appreciated. Now let's do this. I see some plants. Get away from that. Get away from it. Is that a loud Ooh. noise on the chat? Loud noise? Oh, yeah. Somebody in the party chat right, is being uh, very noisy. Guys, whoever's playing along in the party, please get your noise under control. In fact, I'm going to go look at the party and try to fix that, because I really don't like it. It is either Ivan's or Light Cycle. Looks like Light Cycle. Anything. Yeah, Light Cycle, you were just out of control there, man. We had to put the stop to that. I muted him. He's my buddy, though. He wasn't doing it on purpose. I'm sure he's just having a seizure or something. Woo. All right, let's do this. Whoa. Crap. Oh, I got a stupid... Yeah. Thank you for the... Oh, crap. He's trying to eat us. Jumper, jumper, jumpers. Did I get him? Didn't get him. Oh, can't shoot. Can't shoot. Yeah, this game mode is like the um, beginner game mode. Uh, Team Vanquish lets you uh, use the Aww. like sort of special characters. Light Cycle is not playing along. Light Cycle, why not? Brian, if you have the opportunity, try to figure out. I thought he was going to play along with us. He has the game running and everything, you know. You just have to choose join party game after selecting multiplayer if if that's the issue. He says it wouldn't let him join. Just try to join again, man. See what happens. Maybe the game is full. That's probably what it is. In which case, people will drop out when the game ends, and then he can get in. Did he say why his mic went so crazy? Mm, no indication as of yet. Hmm. And we have our first winner. Oh, congrats. Dang it. I gotta stay closer to the team, because every time I end up fighting an enemy, I'm doing fine against the enemy, but then somebody from the side kills me. I will say that the um the Sunflower is far better healer than the than the uh what do you call yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't the sequel have a new healing class for zombies? I think it might. Apparently, yes, yeah. the hero. It also has a new melee class. So the all-star hero, you would think he's a melee character, but he's not. He is still long range. He's just a tank. Yeah, heavy gun. So, Paul, how much time did you get to uh, play the sequel at E3? Just for one game, so not a ton. But we ran a really detailed preview of it, the most detailed preview online. Like, when I get to play a game early like that, I try to take really good notes. And so hopefully people who read it will find it useful. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. I'm super stoked about that game. And, uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, I hope you will like it. Yeah, I also interviewed the producer, or one of the producers, somebody. There's Mystic Trust. East, you got a guy on the... Got a guy... Sh yeah, I see that. I wish I could take him. I got him. I got Completion him. bonus. Did the game end? All right, now Light Cycle should be able to get in the game after everyone leaves. Ah, uh, we lost. Oh, I'm sorry you're having a bad connection. Yeah, the game is completely full. That was the problem. So gotcha. Get in quick there, yeah, Light Cycle. Let me invite him again. Invite to game. I think I think Garden Warfare 2 is out. Uh, is it November? I need to look into that with EA, actually. Like, I specifically requested that they keep us apprised of its progress, and of course they haven't. 
but the way EA handles PR is they have like any individual game, either the PR is handled internally or through an external agency. So they have like every game is handled by somebody different, basically. So you might have an in with one group and then the other group just completely ignores you. It's just a frustrating aspect of it. So we have to wait between several seconds for the next game to close. I mean, next game to start, but it's about to start. You can see who did the most revives and things like that. Oh, who's that? Yeah, good job, Ivan. Oh, Ivan. <laughs> Ivan, if you're Spanish. Uh, well, if you're Welsh, it'd be Ethan. Oh, I did not know that. Cool. I did not know that. Is anyone else having trouble with the volume of the actual game? Can anyone else just not hear the game? Because if that is the case, please let us know and we'll turn it up a little. Oh, spring 2016. Okay, it's got a while to go. Yay, plant side now. Who's I wanting to be? I guess I want to be a cactus. Okay, I'll roll a sunflower. Three zombies with the drones. Primary weapon. So I got to be a drone. And vanquish three. Miss engineers. Swizz wants to play uh, mixed mode. Apparently. Okay. After this round, we'll switch to that. Whatever it is. Uh, getting a lot. I can't really hear the game. So you might want to turn Very it Very well. That's the kind of thing we mentioned before the stream starts. Peoples. Yeah, in mixed mode, or rather team vanquish mode, you get to um, you play as the custom classes, which is always fantastic. Adds a lot of variance to the classes. Whoa, train. You know, I, I don't know if I've ever seen this level. Or if I did, I didn't see the train. Nice western motif. It's pretty cool. I have turned the game up, you guys. Just tell me if it's too loud or whatever. Oh, don't worry, they will. Guy in the bridge. Oh, I'm done. Coming. Apparently they say it's good now. Uh, well, that's what one person said. Two people, maybe. Ooh. Ah, dang it. I. That guy is a much better shooter player than me, and I'm not very good, so he's just killing me over and over and over. <laughs> oh. I right, suppose I just that is correct, Lil that Fryer. Was... I suppose it is. That was MLG stuff there. Right there. Oh, we got some healing. Look at that. We've got a, a lot of sunflowers on the team. Maybe even too many, but that's okay. They do a lot of damage. I do prefer the Mystic. I'm trying to revive. Come on, let me have a revive. Oh, everybody else is reviving. Fine. If we get hit by rocket right here, we're <laughs> all doomed. Yeah, let's go around that. We've got potato mines. Oh. I know what I needed to do. Gonna be a garlic drone. It's probably giving me... No, it's not letting me. Maybe I'm in a bad spot for it. Ah! Where are we... Look out for rocket. God. It's so chaotic. Yeah, it's I don't think you're to supposed be. to hear the music at this point. Um... When you're almost dying as well, it sort of drums up the noise. Oh, sort of like the uh, high-pitched squeal, like you're getting a lot of FPS if you accidentally hit yourself with a grenade. Yeah. yeah. Everybody loves flashbanging themselves. The yeah, I hear that all the time. I have tinnitus for that. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Your linebacker uh, coming behind thanks, you Thanks, Cluck, my duck. What a good guy. Ooh, I got revenge from the grave because the guy stepped on my potato mine. Finally, I got a kill. Oh, awesome. I've done something useful. Now I'm going to hop into garlic drone mode. How do I do that? Uh, uh, oh, that's that's awesome. That's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, let's see if I can do anything good with it. So, funny story about the music. Um, I've played this game so much that my wife absolutely hates the music, and she will not let me play without headphones now. Dang. Jeez, man. That's sad. I want to play as the mystic, man. Or the paleontologist. Am I out of bullets? Oh, it has to reload. There we go. Come on, get a kill.
Doomed. This is more like it. At least they have a hard time hitting me. Oh, but he did get me. Didn't kill me though. Yeah. How do you guys like the new Windows 10? So you're just like raiding them from the air? Yeah, is that that's what, what I was doing. Here? Yes. Gotcha. You can drop in some uh, air strikes as well as uh, just constantly shoot. Very little health though, so if he gets hit once, it pretty much brings it down. I have it on my laptop, but I haven't put it on my main, so... One of the guys in our party is talking about Windows 10. The reason I, I haven't I installed out. Windows 10 on my laptop, and I've pointed this out before, but for people who don't know, is that my laptop is an off-brand, and so there is a certain likelihood of driver issues. Yeah, that's always the big problem. I'll, although most Windows 8 drivers will work in 10, the video driver you'll have issues with. Well, the plus side there is that I do have an NVIDIA, so... Well, then you're pretty yeah. much gold there. It's more like sound and network card that I'm really worried about. What exactly is the off-brand? It is Sager. S-A-G-E-R, Sager. They, the reason I got it, they offer a great deal of customization. So I got to pick how, not just how much RAM I want, but like I can pick what's in each of the three drive bays. I could pick what video card, what monitor type, you know, glossy or matte, things like that. A lot of customization. So are they primarily? Um, they're they're an ODM. The, what do you ask, Derek? Are they primarily gaming yes. laptops, or are they made for the purpose gaming, of Gaming, okay. but a lot of people use it for out. video editing, and I do as well, so, because they're powerful enough to do that. The big ones are desktop replacements, they also do make 15-inch ones, maybe a 13-inch, I can't remember. Stoney said it worked for him just fine on his Sager. Who's? Stoney Silence said it worked just fine on his. Glad to hear that. Oh, come on, step on the mine. Step on the mine! Well, that is encouraging. I'll have to check it out. But it is going on three years, this particular laptop. It's still pretty powerful. It's still powerful than the ones that most people pick up in a store. But because it is so old, that means that the individual drivers, they're not getting updated. So I just have to hope that they do work, and I'm afraid to. And personally, I don't think you're missing much with Windows 10. I mean, it's still in its sort of buggy phase. Yeah, a little bit, I don't. So. I don't mind waiting I a agree. little bit. I do have Windows 10 on my Surface Pro, so it's not like I don't get to see what Windows 10 is like or anything. Oh well, then you're good. Don't really like how Windows 10 handles tablet stuff, which is funny because that's what everybody didn't like about Windows 8 was how it handled desktop stuff. I'm a chopper. So, but then again, I also probably just haven't learned all the tricks yet. There's probably workarounds for the things that bother me. Where are all the zombies? Where's Paul at, by the way? I'm hiding in a corner. Yeah, I find the tablet mode in Windows 10 to be like really constrictive. Um, it's pretty much only tablets. You can't really seem to get back to the desktop <laughs> mode at all. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Hey, so. Too many, too many people complained in RT about um, spectacular character me, pack. Um, about having a desktop, but can't you know not being able to use your fingers on it, not really effectively, especially with a screen that high resolution. If you have a Surface Pro or yeah, a Pro especially 3. Pro Three, yeah, that, that that's really difficult. I have I have one for work and. Yeah, there's there's just no way you're using your fingers oh, yeah. on that screen. By the way, party, I forgot we were going to switch modes. Swizzler's got us want us to switch modes, so we'll go ahead and do that. Go yeah. back out. Everyone back out of the game if you're in the party, and we will get into a different game. I'll bring you right along. All right, that was a new game, guys. Between rounds, what I was just looking at yeah, was, was a sticker good. shop. The sticker shop is the game's unlockable well, system. You earn money from game. playing, and then you... Uh, <laughs> What do you do? You spend it on sticker packs, which give you random items and characters. Team Vanquish? She said mixed. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, we're going for mixed, guys. This is a game type that was not present when the game first came out. They added a lot of stuff post-release. No. Search for game. You guys stop being in a game. Just follow me. Join my game. 
one thing that's cool to note is that with the stickers, um, even though that is sort of like a microtransaction, you can play the game forever and not have to buy any yeah. stickers. Yeah, I agree. Because um, you, you earn them pretty quick. And they give us free ones every now and then. Every time I haven't played for a few months and I come back, I have a bunch of free stickers waiting for me. Uh, what team? Plants or zombies? Um, I think during their one year anniversary, they gave, um, what was it, they gave each person like 20 sticker packs just for free, just to celebrate. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. A bunch. Engineer. Anguish, three sunflowers with your primary weapon. On the engineer, he's got a big, oh, really? Did it just put me on big the butt wrong crack, game? which I think is for the kids. Kids think butt cracks are hilarious. <laughs> Me, unless it's a girl's butt crack, I probably don't want to see it. But you don't, you don't want to see your plumber. I guess not. Actually, I don't see. Yeah, you know, big burly Bob. Yeah. No, I actually have to kind of look away all. from it while I play. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh, jeez. Feel like we got kicked out. Oh yeah, yeah I got it. Be, be worried. Oh, headshot. Yeah, the party is unfortunately not following along with what right, I'm saying. So, so invite party to game. Oh. That's some of them. It says in my game. Xbox. We'll see. Yeah, the party might be full, you guys, so some of you might not be able to get in for a second. It's a pain. Are you following the stream on Twitch? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit strange. We've actually joined a different game here. You guys joined a different game? Yeah, yeah, well, I backed out, and then it said my party was playing a game. Do you want to join them? So I yeah, yeah. did it, and it's put me into a different game. Me, Mystic, and uh, even if you... Okay, Ooh. my party's a bunch of turncoats. Really strange. <laughs> like, I keep saying, join my game, don't start your own game, and someone still started their own game. They got impatient, man. You're taking uh, too well. long. Okay, I will join the party's game. We'll just see how that goes. Sorry. Remember, like I said, part two is going to have better matchmaking. The whole party will be able to stick together in the same game if they want. That's something they've promised us. They did promise that. Four party members were added to the game. Sharkbite Shores. That's a good level. Cool. Uh, we're on the Zomboss estate at the moment. Ooh. Derekuda's rocking the surface RT. Uh, that's not what I did. I there just we go. I have yeah, it. I it still works great, too. <laughs> My Surface RT does not. I mean, maybe I'm just, like, less patient. But no, mine it crashes or freezes up pretty frequently. I would say, like, at least once an hour. At least. And, you know, we've... I think they're supposed to uh, release an update, actually, this month. That's supposed to be Windows 10-ish for it, but... I don't know how much it's going to do. <laughs> Maybe that'll fix my issues. I don't know why they don't just put it's Windows zombies. Mobile on it. The one they're going to put on the phone. Yeah, that would be it better. Like Honestly, it's about the same thing. Get three tacos to win. Okay, what are you? Are you, are you oh, I can plant things. Or... Yeah. Yeah, I'm zombie. Okay, I'm... Um... This is a player versus player mode? Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Millions said you should just stop oh. calling people dudes. <laughs> Defined as a pimple on a donkey. Oh behind. god, nobody uses that. <laughs> well, is Million is actually true? a girl? Three versus two. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I often say I dudes and dudettes, but I, I, it's just I, not I all hit the time. Right bumper when I thought I was in the game. And... That's why I pick folks. <laughs> Okay, are you the, are you the yeah, it makes me sound like a hick. I like to sound like when I was in fifth grade. That's really what I'm going for. Whatever words Dude. I used in fifth grade, I still will use now, and not a word that I didn't use at that time. So that's why no bad language. Man, I swear I didn't pick the names for the contests. <laughs> you know, the keywords. They just sort of fell into place. Hey, I'm joining you again, finally. There, that's better. Yeah. It's good to have you back, Mr. Griffith. It's been a little while. Maybe not a lot of people have the game. Are you suffering? Are you getting your... Ah, oh, crap, 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 run! Oh, the dude snuck up behind me because he stunned me. Yeah, the goop that the chopper spits really slows you down. So I'm playing against Ivan's, the guy on my team, because again, 
this game does not care if you're in a party or not. Watch it, watch it. And in a way, they should have fixed that. You know, they, they knew there were issues, and they looked at it and said, we will wait and fix that in the sequel. That's not a great thing to do to your players. Uh, I don't know. All right, now it's three against three. Okay. Now it's even. That's sort of the EA. Yeah, yeah it is an, <laughs> an EA way of doing things. If there's a new game coming next year, we'll get it then. Although, actually, isn't it two years between games? No, God, I got freaking creamed again. Woo, but I lived. I got him. Ah, they got me. Yep, that's... I'm amazed. <laughs> that's what the paleontologist does. Thanks, anybody does. got healing? Nope. Yeah, right behind you. Assist. Ah. Thanks for that awesome. healing. Yeah, the paleontologist is like the normal scientist, has a shotgun, but it's fire shotgun, so it... You don't have to hit them, it has splash damage, and also it does damage periodically. That is cool. I'm gonna kill this guy when he comes out. Well, I hit him. Didn't kill him. You All did. Right, I just switched the fire Watch I'll out for his thing. He's got his green danglies on the floor. Uh, oh my, that <laughs> sounds naughty. It does. Yeah. We're trying to get the tacos, Too I guess yet. I should be working towards that instead of just worrying about kills. Ooh, got a kill. Uh, we got the tackle, right? Good job. Yeah. Oh, Good health yeah. behind I you. I do need that very much. Thanks. Drop a shield. Get some healing in. Oh, I'm actually stuck. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's work our way over there. Crap. Ran into a bomb of some type. Right. Oh, it was the... No, I don't know what it was. Thanks, Mystic Trust! <laughs> I can't jump on the roof just yet. Yeah, good uh, point, AJ. Him. Couldn't stay in there too long. AJ, you don't own this game, man? Because you could play along if you wanted. Yeah, there's only six people in the... In the Fun fact. Game, the AJ game. in AJ stands for Andrew Jackson. Well, I, can't jump that high. I don't know if that's true or not. No, he gooped me, because I push... <sighs> I'm really bad about this tonight. I'm forgetting what each of my individual move buttons is. So I meant to send out a bomb, and instead I dashed towards my death. Shouldn't have done that. There you go. Oh, AJ will play with us. All right. We will go into party and get him in here. Invite to party. Ah, uh, there he is again. <laughs> You better be on my Xbox Live friends list, AJ. There you are. There we go. Party and game. Oh, Pure Pretzel will join too. Let's do that. And even if you can't get into the game right now, you will be able to get in after some people leave between rounds. That's a thing. Pure Pretzel as well. Party and game. I don't see everybody. Ooh, ooh. Snap. The tacos! No, Dave got to keep That's them. Right. No tacos. <laughs> oh yeah, Royal Bob is recommending this goofy PC game called Shower with Your Dad Simulator 2015. <laughs> it's an actual <laughs> game. That it's sounds amazing. Creepy. It uses this kind of Atari 2600 style pixel art, and it's very, very funny. Like, there's not much to it, but it's only a one dollar game. And it's just the silliest idea ever, which I have to give it credit for. Hello. Yeah, there's one on Steam, I believe, called the Bed Hello. Simulator 2015. Really? Yeah, it's just a bed in a room, and you lie in it. That's <laughs> oh, that it. sounds like fun. I just bought a wow. sticker pack so people can that's see what that's like. That's a college project there. Bunch of consumables, things that we can plant during matches that support that. No, I do not want to quit. There we go. Did I get any good stats? Assist master, because I got two assists. That's something. Uh, Brian, I've just literally, um, just before we jumped on the stream here, um, I completed that Lara Croft go. Way to I go. Just, Absolutely I'm, great game. Paul's article sent me out to go buy it, and it is great. I really like that yeah. game. I thought Hitman <laughs> Paul's awesome, article but... literally sent you out to get it. Well, That's awesome. <laughs> 
I, I didn't even know it existed. Well, I mean, I probably saw it in the App Store, but, you know, his article, you know, drove me to the oh. App Store to buy it. Yeah, you know, I don't write a game Fantastic. to advert. I mean, I don't write articles to advertise, but when my enthusiasm, you know, when people uh, absorb my enthusiasm sure, for a game, then that makes me really happy. You know, that is one of the goals, obviously. If I like a game, I want the reader to end up liking it, too. Yeah, I, I'm well, assuming that well, the one thing I really uh, like about it is unlike the current popular model, it's not bugging me every 30 seconds to spend 99 cents or yeah. spend a dollar or buy 30 in-game coins. It's just, you know, it just lets me play. Yeah, I agree. Uh, like everybody complains about premium price models, but I've got no problem with them. Well, Royal Bob, just difficulty-wise, it's just like Hitman Go. So if you think Hitman Go is too easy, then Tomb Raider is too easy, but I don't I don't think that the difficulty is exactly. I mean, it's yeah, not it's about not. the difficulty. I mean, you know, it's just a fun type the experience. Puzzle game. I'm yeah. not looking to be challenged on my phone. Well, I've got to be honest. There were about two or three puzzles uh, throughout the game that really had me thinking. What the heck is that? And then I slapped myself when. Ah. This is like capture the flag, man, or right. zone defense. Zone defense, huh? Okay, let's put some of these up. Conquest. You're gonna bite. Like Dang it, he got away. Got him. But then I got killed. Oh, nobody even took advantage of his stun. Thanks, Griffid. Kiki's. Wrecked got him. him. Boom. Awesome. I'm, I'm done. Oh, and though. I died. Oh. Hey, Pure Pretzel <laughs> made it into the party. Let's talk about the Lara Croft Go interview a little bit. I, I'm glad t this is the first interview I've ever had with Square Enix, so I'm glad that turned out very well. And I asked them several hard questions in the interview. I asked them a total of three hard questions, which I feel good about, because usually my goal is always to get at least one hard question in there, because I don't want my interview to read like a a back scratching session or something you know I don't want it to look like I'm just fluffing them I'm trying to help them get the word out about their game but also I want to ask them things that the players might be wondering and I think I accomplished that really well uh, not not that all their answers to those hard questions were you know exactly what the readers would like to hear per se they you get the diplomatic answers but at least we tried and it's I think it's a really good read and I, I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Please check it out. It was good. I Thank liked you. it. Thank you. And like I said, it drove me to go buy a game. So. Gotcha, buddy. Snuck up behind and ate him. Oh, and the other guy killed me. Context Thanks, is everything, my friend. I got you back. But the other thing I wanted to mention about the interview, you know, that interview, that's probably about four hours of work from me, right? And then for the game itself, that's months of work from the game developers. And unfortunately, there's a segment of the Windows Phone gaming audience who doesn't understand that games are a product of all that work. And all they really care about is feeding their addiction to Xbox achievements. And this is something that I, I rail about and I try to get people to see the other side. It's that like achievements are great, but if you are actually addicted to them, that then it it's reducing how much you can enjoy games and it's keeping you from playing a lot of good games. And that should never be the case. So we get these negative comments, a few negative comments on the article, and I just it's so disappointing when we get those comments and I feel sorry for those people because again they literally have an addiction and it's very obvious by the way they act but I just wish it wasn't the case uh, oh anyway but the optimistic sorry. side of that is that a lot of people jumped in and told those people to stop acting crazy and stop being rude and that was nice so we did have some people who were just as annoyed as I was but it's like you put all this work into writing an article hours of work those people, they put all this work into making the game at Square Enix Montreal. And then it doesn't matter how much work they put in or how much work I put in on the article when all some people care about is achievements. They're like, is achievements? No, ugh. You know, and they make caveman sounds. And it's like, no, guys, don't be like that. You have to look at what the game is and appreciate it on its own terms and not just be my only criteria for enjoying this game is achievements, yes or no. 
And, but the other thing I really don't get about people like that is you can get achievements so many places. You can get them on Xbox One. There's no less than millions of Xbox One games already for people to get their achievement fix from. So you don't have to get that everywhere you are in your life. You know, like if you're at the gas station, you don't have to be earning achievements right then. I just wish, you know, I don't get it. I used to really like achievements, but oh. the way that I see people acting as a result of them actually causes me to like them less. Yeah, I hate the uh, the whole, let's give this game yeah, easy that, achievements yeah. so we can sell it. That can, that can be silly too. It wastes the potential, because obviously they have the potential to make a game more fun, to make a good game more fun, and that is, there's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly how they should be used. Achievements are the dragon that you chase, but you never catch. <laughs> really bad. Yeah, it depends on the game. <laughs> I mean, that I played some Xbox on the 60 cool. games that <laughs> that had, uh, like, you, you got all the achievements over the course of beating the game. So not there's no way you couldn't... That's how Telltale games are. That's, I mean, that's pretty cool, because yeah, you can cool. say, you know, at least you got... You know, 100% <laughs> achievement um, acquisition. Yeah, it's nice to be able to do that because a lot of us just don't have time to do it otherwise, especially if it, when the achievements are grindy. I, I just meant the addiction in general. I know personally I've bought games just so I can add it to my achievement list, which now I regret. <laughs> but at the time, I mean, it just grabs hold of you and you're like, oh, I have to do this. It's as long as you don't. You just don't, you can't let it control your life or become a problem to where, okay, I can't appreciate that game because it has bad achievements or because I, or because it doesn't have achievements especially. Bad achievements kind of get on my nerves because they, uh, you know, like I want game developers to do a good job. So if I can see that they didn't think about some of the things they did, that does get on my nerves. There was a game called Renegade Ops for Xbox 360 and PS3 and Steam. And it has really, the achievements were done in a really dumb way, and it always makes me mad when I think about it. Because you can only get them in single player, but it's a game that's meant to be played in co-op. So, you know, it's like, why would you have people playing, why would you encourage people to play single player instead of the multiplayer mode? Because you want people to be there populating the multiplayer mode. It just, it makes no development sense. Also, I just really don't like Renegade Ops, but some Twin Stick Shooter fans absolutely adore it. Our co-host Adam Zero, he adores it. And we play it together, and that's how I met him, actually, but I just don't have the same attachment to it that he does. He's expressing his love in the chat already. <laughs> Is he here? One of my most favorite Yeah, he's over in Central. I thought it was Hunter Date Night or whatever. Twin Stick Shooters. Maybe a filter. Oh. You have a lot of people. Sweet. Over Welcome to the stream, everyone. Please make sure you follow not only Windows Central, but also East X Twitch. Yeah. Brian, are you sharing the link with them? That would be great. He's a real killer, isn't he? Yeah, I've got a You're a goner, buddy. Now. Oh, no, I'm a goner. No, we got a few more players in here. How are your feelings on a... Uh... PlayStation trophies and Steam achievements as far as like the addiction because I would find that the addiction for me is only on Xbox. Yes, that is more common because the thing is you the Xbox achievements came first and arguably they were done the best. I believe they were done the best out of the three, but you know, people have just had more time to buy into that system and to either get addicted or at least care about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I I enjoy Xbox achievements more, but I do enjoy trophies and Steam achievements. Steam achievements just barely because they're not handled very well at all. Half the time you don't know that you've got. <laughs> yeah, <them. laughs> and and a game can have over a hundred Steam achievements, and they can be for dumb things or impossible things, and there's just no standards to them, so they aren't very meaningful. Play this game for five thousand yeah, kind of thing. Wow, but then again, man. there are grindy. That's Grindy Xbox achievements, like the Seriously achievements and the Gears of War games, are really unfair in my opinion. Yeah. They're only for people. I also hate, I also hate achievements like, um, do you remember Brothers in Arms, Hell's High? I never played it, but yeah. Uh, playing the game, well, there was an achievement for playing the game, uh, 
every Saturday for a full six months, or um, another achievement then for playing on the, well, basically on uh, Victory Day, you know, stuff like that. So people then were turning their Xbox off of uh, being connected to the live system, changing the date on the internals, playing the game, and then going back and changing the date back to what it should be, just to get an achievement. Yep, and people Jeez. would do that in Batman Arkham Ooh. City, had a lot of Ooh, calendar based achievements as well. Good game. Yeah, that was fun, That's you guys. This is going pretty well. Yeah. Bob mentions that the Earth Defense Force games have very grindy achievements and trophies, and that is regrettable but true. But again, if you just learn not to care about them so much, then you can fully enjoy the game and and have a good time, whereas if you care about them too much, they will keep you from enjoying the game. So, it's a balance. As as uh, yeah. Zero just mentioned, the zero point achievements are complete crap. <laughs> yes, those are dumb. Oh, that's oh so Light Cycle. <laughs> Is this only an eight player mode? That might be the case. Pure Pretzel made it in at least. I didn't think so. We miss you, Light Cycle. He's my buddy. I think you hit the nail on the head there, Paul. Um, like when, back when I was more focused on the achievement side of things, I'd play like all the Call of Duty games on the veteran oh. settings with the intention of getting the achievement score. But then by the time Modern Warfare 3 came out and I tried to go through it on veteran, I got like so bored within the first three <laughs> levels of die, repeat, die, repeat that I didn't even play yeah, the Yeah, that's game. a good point because you, like, you don't want to have to play through the game multiple times is what you're telling yourself, so you'll just play on the hardest difficulty. But then the hardest difficulty is actually yeah. less fun usually and that's yeah i wish exactly. game developers would kind of keep that in mind because they want that challenging one there for people who like to be challenged like bob but it still has to be fun too so yeah, yeah. That's well, not the I fact mean, that you can't complete it it's just that it, you don't have the time that i uh, used to have yes. you know so six hours I'd... to complete the game okay one hour no yeah we need i prefer um the easy setting usually just because most of the time well the games i play i'm going for the story yeah, the story, the experience. People know I I like games to be a little bit easier than, obviously, and it's all due to time, just like what Mr. Griffith said. If things are available, for instance, in Mega Man Legacy Collection, I take advantage of the save states feature, and I was getting teased about that for streaming the game that way. But that's, you know, that's how I play. I'm going to take advantage of what's there for me, because I'm not in it specifically for the challenge. Ah... I have the bomb. Oh no! Coming, coming. Well, I found him yet, so I have no idea. Oh, he's a plumber. Uh, can't use any. Uh, does this do anything? I don't even know what this does. Yet. You've got to take it to the base. Oh, I meant my jackhammer like ability. Assault on Halo. I don't understand it. Oh, that's awesome! It stops you getting chomped by the. Oh, oh I got an achievement. Gnome bomber. Pick up a gnome bomb. Oh, I've got the bomb. Yeah, Crap! Yeah. Run, run. You're going the wrong way. I'm going yeah, the wrong going way. The wrong Which way, way do I go? Oh, we're all... <laughs> he just killed us all. My bad. I'm dead. That was a big mess. Okay, they have the bomb. What do you mean, Royal Royal Bob is saying the AI is bad in Metal Gear Solid 5. It does have higher difficulty levels that you unlock by actually beating the game, I think. Or at least one higher difficulty. I'm sure I read that or heard it. Metal Gear Solid 2 was, um, I did play that game on the, the the hardest insane difficulty, so if you get shot once, you're dead. That oh, was actually you fun, talking? but you you got to do it over and over and over again. Are you talking European Extreme? European yeah, that Extreme? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. It was cool. It was but... so I mean, tough. Europeans are extreme people. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm guessing at the time, maybe uh, we were more focused on more difficult games than anywhere in America. I don't know. It used to be a thing that when they would bring Japanese NES games over, and other other systems too, but when they would bring them over, they would increase the difficulty for America. They did that with the Contra games, which you guys got mangled versions of called Pro Protector and uh, other games like that, they would make them harder for us. And so as a result, they ended up being too hard. I, you know, I hate when they meddle with the difficulty like that. At least make it an option. Okay. We've got a packed party. I can hear the party chat through my speakers and yep. 
Too bad we can't have them all on mic. Then again, it's nice to have a quieter, more controlled mic on the stream, I think. So what does this left bumper do? It throws a megaphone. From the game. That'd be funny. Let's do the... Megaphone is good for getting uh, the thingy guys out of the... Um, ooh, bum bum bum. Get over there. Yeah, the megaphone is good for getting the um, the burrowers out of the burrows. It knocks them out oh, of the ground. It, so if they're it. digging around, you'll That's throw cool. them out, which will yeah. probably ruin Evan's day. <laughs> well, I need to get over there and take advantage of that. And if you're on your jackhammer, obviously they can't chomp you. So-called makes a good point. Games that have a smooth difficulty curve that start out at normal and just get harder as you go through, that can be a lot of fun. It depends. Yeah. Some games, like the Batman Arkham games, now that has multiple difficulties, but those games actually get really kind of grindy because the, the enemy encounters, as you get farther in the Arkham games, they just throw more and more enemies at you. So like, instead of fighting four enemies, now you're having to fight a group of 20 enemies, that kind of thing. And like I like to feel a little bit more powerful as I get farther in the game. So it's nice occasionally when a game oh, gets nice. a bit easier as you get farther in because you're growing in difficulty. I mean, growing in power and capabilities, etc. Yeah, I do not know what is going on. Hi, I stunned him. We are bombing their base. Come on, somebody kill him. Does that get me an assist? I hope it does. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to handle difficulty, and most of them are pretty valid. Sometimes the developer really gets it wrong, and it, it spoils the game for me, and I'm always quick to point that out. In fact, are there any games lately that the difficulty the really got on my nerves? I can't think of one. There's a game... Fallout Shelter? <laughs> I haven't played that one. <laughs> it sounds cool, though. Haven't they fixed that, though? Uh, not to my knowledge. It's still really difficult. And it shouldn't be, but... I got bored with that and just uninstalled it after a while. Man. AJ is a beast. We should not have invited AJ to the game. <laughs> you invited a pro, huh? Wait, there am another one? It's okay, you got me, you got me. Survive three teammates is my next challenge. You can also purchase your way through the uh, challenges as well. Not actually with cash though, uh, with like unlock points. Yeah, I like that. As you rank up, you like uh, just keep building them, build them, and if you find them like uh, that, you pretty much you focus on offense. Even though, say, your class that you've picked is a, a defensive sort of class, you can still get something done about it. You know? Yeah. I like that. There might be a few that I should occasionally do that on. I don't really ever look at them and think about it. Thinking about this, it's sort of like, uh, it's like zombies versus plants, American football. Get the bomb, get oh, the yeah, end zone. you're right. Alright, oh, come on, 30 seconds, we gotta defend this for 30 seconds. I'm coming. Yeah, oh, another game that gets the difficulty curve wrong is Guacamelee. Guacamelee is a Metroidvania-style game, and it's actually one of the the best of its kind, in my opinion, but it does make a little mistake, and that's that it gets really punishingly difficult the farther you get into it, and that kind of game, Metroidvania games, don't it doesn't work well for that. So what they do is they throw tons of enemies at you, kind of like Arkham, and the enemies all require really specific methods to kill them. So each enemy encounter just becomes a pain in the butt instead of fun. And that's a game where you get new abilities the more you go on, so it is a game where you should feel like you're more powerful as you go on, but instead it feels the opposite because they just throw too much crap at you. 
got about six versions of that game on different <laughs> devices, and they have not once played it. Oh man, you gotta it. at least play it. It has really good local co-op too, which is very unusual for a Metroidvania game to have that feature. I tried playing it, and I couldn't get into That's it, to be honest. I like the Mexican mythology and imagery. The art style is great, the writing is very clever, and uh, the combat is the best combat in that type of game, in my opinion. Even though I know I'm complaining that some of the enemies get too hard later on, or the enemy encounters become punishing, but the actual combat, you have a ton of moves at your disposal, and moves that you get to learn throughout the game. So it makes the combat very rewarding to me. My I'll have to give favorite... it go. Yeah, I should actually give it first go, really. <laughs> Yeah, at least um, a first go. My favorite sort of game in that sort of style, though, gotcha. has been uh, Outland. Oh, nice. I never got to play that. It's like a cross yeah, between, you know, Metroid and Vania and such like that, but mixed then with, um, uh, what's that, what's that bottom to top sort of scrolling shooter, yes. Ga Gallic Legions, is it? You get to change your color to um, be affected by different kinds of energy. So you could, if you were red, that's the one. Yeah. Awesome. Good old Ikaruga from Treasure. Why is Swizzler saying he won't chat? What's up, Swizzlers? Tell us the truth. Not sure. I don't think anybody's being mean to him. I don't think so. Maybe he's got a mag problem or something. We have a strict no meanness policy. <laughs> Dear God sucks, huh? I haven't I had installed it, but you I haven't know, played it yet. What sucks about it, so-called? People are... The general impression is kind of negative, but it sounds like a game I would like. Everything I hear about it makes me think I would like it. However, it sounds very difficult and time-consuming. Armed by teammate. Go teammate. Oh, I need to mm. hop off and. I'll give it a shot before I make a. It's a roguelike, but it's a very weird roguelike. Roguelike platformer, and it's kind of like Minecraft or something with just a lot of things can happen. It's really complex, and the game doesn't hold your hand through it. So a lot of people just get confused and they turn away from it. And I, I mean, that's something the developers should have considered, but. But if you like Dark Souls type games or something like that, where there's a lot of figuring things out on your own, Ew. not you know, not in the enemy encounters or whatever, but I mean, just Dark Souls has a lot of figuring things out, the game not explaining it to you, and that sounds like an element of Dear God. And it's funny because I'm advocating it for it, and I haven't even mm. played it, but that kind of thing appeals to me. Not that I would want every game to be like that, absolutely not. But for a game every now and then to be like that, that sounds pretty cool. That was my biggest turnoff with Minecraft, and I mean, I love Minecraft to this day, but I, just getting into it, I'm like, I have to look all this stuff up on a wiki? That sucks, <laughs> yes. you know? I feel you. Oh, there's a flying plant shooting at us. Apparently he was making a smart remark about my contest oh. <laughs> post. Is he, we've got 19 minutes left in the stream just about, you guys. So we'll keep playing and having fun, and we have one more contest to go right at the end of the stream, right? About ten more minutes or so? I was going to start in about five. Unless you want me to I pull say off. Ten. Okay, ten then. Because we... It's nice to have people stick around a little bit longer, so that's why I say push it just a little bit more back. In case people are here only wait for the contest. Good. Gotta dangle that yeah, carrot yeah. a little more. Go, gotcha, buddy. Paul, he jumped past you. You got the bomb. Oh, you got I the bomb. I have the bomb. Awesome. What do I do with it? I don't yeah, know what to do with it. Bomb. You gotta take. You could take it to B. Take it to the green so I don't light coming up. B that way. From the, okay. From their base. All right, got it. Yeah. There's a frozen guy on the on the bridge. Can someone kill him for me? He's, oh, oh God. Dark a lot of bad guys right there. Yeah. All right, I'm running. There's a Come. flying yeah, onion. Thank you. I've got him. Good job. Come help, guys. Help. Oh, bad guys. I died. It's okay. We've got the bomb. See, 
No, they've got the bomb. I've Thank got you. you though. Yeah, this is my fault, but you gotta have the other guys in the lead and the bomb guy a little bit behind them so he doesn't take all the damage right up front. Okay, we got the bomb. Yeah, that's a good point, Derekuda. Minecraft is great for exploration, and that is an element that I love in games. For instance... I find with Minecraft, you have to have a goal. If you haven't got a target or a goal for each sort of interaction, then it's gets, it does get point. boring quite rapidly. Yeah, so just... And you have to make your own goals to an extent. It does have a little bit of a campaign yeah. where you go and you go into hell or something, right? And fight a bad guy? Some kind of alternate universe? They added that uh, eventually. Yeah, you can go into... Yeah. You can go into, um... Well, the nether. And then you can go into the ender. There's two of them. And the end goal really is you have to kill the ender That's dragon. That's it. Oh, we're defusing this last one pretty well. Yeah. Oh. Not really armed There's, uh, I'm interested to see how Telltale Games are going to work it. To you and see if they're going to do a... A story mode? That's what they're calling it. So it's basically a typical Telltale style adventure game, but in Minecraft. That's really cool, Mongo. What'd you say? She used Minecraft in an after school yeah. club. She is really good with using technology for education, and that's a pretty important area for young kids because obviously technology is so important in their lives, more so than when we were growing up. Okay, guys, group up, group uh, up, come on, guys. So you find things that interest them and use it to teach them because it makes them more receptive and they're more likely to remember the things you're teaching them if they're engaged in that way. My wife throws uh, Minecraft into uh, math problems because she's yeah. a math teacher. And um, oh, I can understand it, how it that like will work. snaps them right into what whatever the... Uh, you know, the problem is, like, gets the, grabs their attention so quick. That's pretty awesome. I work in a school, luckily I don't have to teach. Or we'd all be in trouble. I still want to go back and be a teacher because I'm really tired of having two part-time jobs instead of one full-time job. But that's, that's a ways off. We'll see if I ever get around to it. I'm gonna die. We won? Did we win? Hooray! We did, yeah. I was holding the bomb too long, though. It was about to Okay, we've got time for one more game. That's how we're going to handle the end of the stream, is the stream will end after the next game. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to get 40,000 coins, and then I'm going to buy the 40,000 coin sticker pack, and we can see what I get. That would also be a good way to cap the stream. And, yeah, we'll, we should earn that many just by playing, especially if we win. I heard him say we have time for one more game. <laughs> I'm going to buy a sticker pack. Yeah, I heard that too. We pointed out you can earn these coins just by playing, which is what I'm doing. But if you wanted to get things unlocked faster, you could buy in-app purchases. You could buy some coins and get sticker packs. But you, you don't have to. You're at no disadvantage if you don't do that. It's just for people who want to get the stuff faster. Which is a pretty good way to handle it. Also out of the packs, you do get like uh, single-use cards that you can use in the horde mode game type that's in the game. You... Uh, Certain kind of plants, you'll you'll find like a plant pot within the game yeah. on the horde mode. You put in your card there, spawns a plant, which then obviously kills loads and loads of zombies that are coming that you're trying to I really kill. like that mode. I wish we could have shown it off on the stream, but we have too many people for it because it's only four player. And that's. Mm. I like it too, but I find nobody <laughs> plays it. Yeah, the, when we play it is when we just have a little group going. Say there's three of us or four of us, then in a party, then we, that's when I've personally played it. Team Although English. I was playing it yeah, by myself on easy English. earlier today, and I got to wave nine and died. And Could have used a revive or whatever, but I didn't. Oh, no. And in Plants vs Zombies 2, in this horde mode, you play as the plants. You have to. That's the only way it works. But in Plants vs Zombies 2, you can also play as the zombies, which is going to add a significant level yeah. of variety. Drones, primary weapon, and. Okay. <laughs> I'm being the cactus, even though I'm not very good with the cactus. That's okay. Well, I'm the plumber. <laughs> oh, there's sunflower again. Oh, this is just team deathmatch oh. this time. Should go good, faster. Good, good. Perfect for the amount of time we have left. Now, my sunflower, this one, it's the mystic one. So you get to charge up the shots, so you can do, like, an instantly <laughs> huge, large hit. This is... That sounds cool. 
if I can see something. Player Vanquish chasing this engineer around. Plumber, whatever he is. <laughs> Shooting at his butt crack. Um, Assist. Right. I don't know what to call him. <laughs> so don't immediately respond. Like construction yeah. workers. Yeah. Another assist, cool. Uh, huh? oh, also, don't try to revive if you think you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have one last round of the contest to go, don't we? Oh, and all right, so. you guys, I just want to point out that we do these weekend Twitch stream contests every single Saturday, every week. We have something to give away. Tonight it's EA access codes. Most nights it's just a different Xbox One or PC or PlayStation 4 game. Uh, always Xbox One codes, but sometimes we also have P PC and PS4 codes. It's just a great incentive for you to tune in and become a part of our community. We have a really great community, lots of cool people, lots of very supportive people. And it's, yeah, and me. even you guys. <laughs> it's a fun, safe place to chat. You get to watch a game, even if you don't particularly care about the game, you still have a great place to chat, and you get to listen to your co-hosts, me and the, the other co-hosts.